Mm. When you say human rated, it means that there are certain principles of human rating. Every rocket is a very reliable rocket because we have enough of margin with our understanding. What we are essentially doing is to extend its boundary of operation mm -hmm. uh, and test it. Not that in actual case it will extend the boundary, but to show the ruggedness of the engine to handle extremities, we widened the boundary of testing and, and then seen that the engine performs nominally and there are no anomalies that will uh, come in, in, in case of this and engine is able to handle such conditions. We are going to make the similar work for the crew module and the rest of the new items which are part of the Gaganyan program. So we are developing them, we are going to qualify them and test through various unmanned mission tests and crew tests. Basically it is, uh, cryogenic engine has been functioning earlier in our all the seven missions but to put it in Gaganyan requires much more rigorous testing. So what we are essentially doing is to extend its boundary of operation mm -hmm. uh, and test it. Not that in actual case it will extend the boundary, but to show the ruggedness of the engine to handle extremities, we widened the boundary of testing and tested it through many tests, tens of tests, under different conditions of vacuum, initial condition, the mixture ratio variation, material pressures, etc., etc., and then seen that the engine performs nominally, and there are no anomalies that will come in, in, in case of this, and engine is able to handle such conditions. So this, this is done for every system, not yeah. when you say the engine is tested, that news only came, yeah. but behind that there are hundreds of such systems which went through similar tests. Right. So in terms of you know, a layman's uh, understanding, when we say that it is a human rated rocket ready now for Gaganyan, how would you tell uh, a common man who is interested in a Gaganyan mission? See, when you say human rated, it means that there are certain principles of human rating. Every rocket is a very reliable rocket because we have enough of margin with our understanding. But don't, that, those margins are extended beyond that general rocket right. uh, working. This is one method, extend the margin of safety of many systems to operate, extend the boundaries of operations wider so that it has a little more ruggedness. Third element is to bring in the ability to understand failures and take corrective actions. Right. So that is called by adding redundancies and uh, failure detection capabilities, and reconfiguration capabilities, etc. So this, once you do all of that, then a rocket becomes uh, human rated. But there is something more in manufacturing. After all this design, the manufacturing should also follow the design by strict control on materials, strict control on manufacturing process, very high levels of quality control, high level of auditing, right. so that human errors and mix-up and other related issues don't crop up into that. Even if you have a good design, if you don't do it properly, it can create failure. Mm -hmm. So all these are taken up in terms of starting from the every nut bolt to the bigger material, due care is taken and the process is set in motion so as to ensure its com compliance. So what next now? Uh, no, with this so next next generation what launching vehicles? Next is that we are going to make the similar work for the crew module and the rest of the new items which are part of the Gaganyan program. So we are developing them, we are going to qualify them and test through various unmanned mission tests, uncrew tests and also through abort tests to see that all of them go through very well, then take the decision to send the uh, so astronaut up.